Hmm. Let us study acceleration versus displacement graph. Uh, let's acceleration is equal to dv by dt can also be written as dv by ds ds by dt means v dv by ds which implies v dv is equal to a ds integrating both sides v dv is equal to integration of a ds that is if it goes from v1 to v2 then this indicates the area under acceleration versus displacement graph so the area under acceleration versus displacement graph represents v square by 2 from v1 to v2 which is v2 square minus v1 square by 2 this is area under acceleration versus displacement graph let us take a small example imagine that acceleration linearly changes with displacement s where both are in si units as like this where this point is 22.5 meter per second square and this particular point where acceleration is 0 is 150 meters then we have to find out suppose we take question that find the speed we have to that is to find the speed when displacement is 60 meters when displacement is 60 meters we can follow two methods one is simple graph method let us see let us take this graph as a very simple triangle it is 150 and when displacement is 60 we have to find out that what is the corresponding acceleration now using similar triangle we can very easily determine that this distance is 90 let us say the height this is h so using similar triangle h by 90 is equal to 22.5 by 150 22.5 by 150 is h by 90 from there h is equal to 90 by 150 into 22.5 around 13.5 units then v square minus u square by 2 v square minus u square if the particle initially started from 0 speed so v square minus 0 square by 2 is equal to area under the graph now which area area is this area of the trapezium that is area under acceleration versus displacement graph from s equal to 0 to s equal to 60 so v square minus 0 square divided by 2 is equal to half sum of the parallel sides 22.5 plus this calculated value 13.5 into the gap between them 60 solving this we get v square is equal to 36 into 60 so v is equal to 6 and this is 4 into 15 that is 2 root 15 that is 12 into root 15 nearly 46.47 
meter per second. So velocity of the particle at displacement is 60 is equal to 46.47. Alternately, we can find out the same velocity by direct calculus method. So in calculus method, that is alternately, we have to find out the, dis the equation of acceleration versus displacement. The equation is S by 150 plus A by 22.5 equal to 1, the equation of the straight line in the intercept form. Arranging this, we get A is equal to 22.5 into 1 minus S by 150. This A can be written as dv by dt. Directly we can convert it into dv by ds, ds by dt and this is 22.5, 1 minus S by 150. This is V, dv by ds. So V dv is equal to 22.5, 1 minus S by 150 ds. Upon integration, V dv, where V varies from 0 to the desired value V, is equal to 22.5 after opening up the bracket ds minus 22.5 by 150 s ds where s varies from 0 to 60 from the graph. So solving v square by 2 as it is having 0 as lower limit is 22.5 integration of ds is s and directly putting the upper minus the lower limit minus 22.5 by 150 integration of s is s square by 2 by directly putting the values v of 10 v square as 2160 and v as root over 2160 which is nearly 46.47 meter per second. This is the result.